She's completely fictional. Mm -hmm. She is completely <laughs> inspired fictional. by real life. But in but the book was inspired by real uh -huh. life. Um, but I wanted her to be a bit more reserved than me and mm -hmm. also a bit shyer and also come from a really sort of normal background because that was the way that you could really show the contrast mm -hmm. between sort of a normal mom who comes to this world, which can sometimes be completely over the top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> So in terms of similarities, I mean, I did write a blog, which is slightly similar to Sophie's, mm -hmm. but I mostly started it as a bit of a joke, mm -hmm. whereas Sophie started it more out of loneliness mm -hmm. and uses it as a, as a way to connect to, to other moms, which mm -hmm. I think was a, was a great concept. Mm -hmm. Mostly the parents have been super supportive and positive. Uh, mostly people I know and my friends have come up to me and said, congratulations, it's amazing. I mean, writing a book is, is actually really mm -hmm. hard. <laughs> so, you know, for the people who understood how, what a journey it was for me, they were incredibly supportive. Now, I did have a friend who came up to me and said that uh, some of the parents were a bit offended by it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, that it, was be, it would be normal to have a backlash. But to be quite honest, no one has ever come up to me and said anything. Mm -hmm. So in the end, it's not really affecting me. So No, it's mostly, it's mostly a few nurseries together. Mm -hmm. So I picked and chose a few details from different nurseries mm -hmm. um, to create this uber posh exclusive mm -hmm. nursery, um, kind of on steroids really. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it wasn't just one nursery, um, but quite a few of them. And of course they attract, you know, high profile uh, parents. Mm -hmm. And then it attracts other kinds of parents who end up wanting to be within that community, which can sometimes be a bit is it, funny. Is, is a nursery a new country club type of thing? <laughs> I mean, amazing. Yes. Well, people go sometimes to network, yeah. which is, I find amazing. Yeah. I just think, well, I just want my child to go to a good nursery. Mm -hmm. But then you hear some conversations and business is happening yeah. and all these sorts of things. Um, having said that, it's an amazing, you know, they are amazing nurseries, all of them. Mm -hmm. only a little snapshot of mm -hmm. actually what goes on to be honest mm -hmm. I mean the birthday parties are incredible mm -hmm. um, I've been to a number of birthday parties in the Mandarin Oriental Ballroom in the Four Seasons the Barclay I mean they're huge spaces mm -hmm. and you have like hundreds of kids with everything you can think of from magicians cotton candy bouncy castles you know, merry-go-rounds, trains, I mean, it's incredible. Um, I've been to parties in members clubs, so mm -hmm. children's birthday parties in members in clubs. In the members clubs, wow. <laughs> um, and, and yeah, and the parents, they have dinners and drinks in, in very exclusive places all over London. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's uh, yeah, it can be conceived as quite excessive. Mm -hmm. um, Big concerns of living in London because they are growing up very spoiled. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have five birthday parties a weekend, mm -hmm. and in these birthday parties, I mean, you have you know pony rides, you have DJs, you have bouncy castles, you have magicians, like whatever you can think mm -hmm. of. And you know, I really try to balance it out with my kids and try and teach them how to be grateful and how to give back to the community. Um, one great thing about uh, our neighborhood is that it is actually also socially conscious. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of um, helping out and charity work. So that's the, the flip side mm -hmm. to, the, to the excess that, mm -hmm. you know, obviously I write about. Um, you know, last, a few weeks ago, we went to donate at a um, asylum seekers drop-off center. Um, when Grenfell happened, I mean, we the whole community was so involved and, mm -hmm. and in such a good way that mm -hmm. those are the things that you can show your kids that is wonderful about the community. So, you know, I try really hard to balance those mm -hmm. things out. Mm -hmm. um, Eventually, about 10 minutes later, a matronly Filipina entered the room, clipboard in hand, stared at me up and down, and without as much as a hello, asked, do you have any experience cleaning or working with children?